Ryan Hansen with sophomore guard Gabe York. Gabe, not only do you get the start tonight, I just told you you looked so comfortable out there, confident with your shot. Uh, did, is that how you felt tonight? Uh, most definitely. You know, Coach uh, instilled the mo utmost confidence in me, um, and that, that obviously goes out to my game and, and the way I play. Um, ever, ever since summer of my sophomore year started, Coach said he wants me to go out there and play basketball the way I know how. Last year's in the past, and I was a freshman. Um, so it was definitely time for me to come out and show that I was comfortable in the offense that we have and, and just play basketball the way I know how. First game, you guys got pushed by Cal Poly. Uh, they, they were able to dictate their tempo. Was that a difficult challenge for you? Um, I mean, just college basketball in general for the freshmen, and even for me, since I didn't really get a, a, a great taste of college basketball last year, it's always going to be difficult trying to get into a new transition of guarding a different player than you don't see every day. But uh, Nick Johnson, I guard him every day in practice, and he does a great job of going at me every play. So coming out here and go going against a guard who isn't as athletic or who isn't as fast, it, it was a little bit easier for me tonight. On the offensive end, everybody seemed to be firing on all cylinders. 57% from the floor. Uh, your teammates were looking for you. You were looking for each other. It got Caleb involved, Aaron Gordon. Uh, talk about the offensive flow and that chemistry. Well, you know, myself, Nick, TJ, Caleb, Brandon, we're all back for another year. And even though TJ didn't play last year, he was a part of our practices. And uh, we, we built a chemistry between all the players who are returning. And uh, I think that showed on the court that we're not selfish basketball players. We find the open man. Um, and I think that showed tonight when I, I drove to the lane and I had a floater, but I ended up kicking it out to TJ. TJ found me in the corner. And I think that's what our team is. We have a pass, pass first point guard. Um, and I think that's going to show throughout the year that we're unselfish and we're going to get the open man the best shot. Cal Poly had a guy go off and uh, Kyle Otister, but the other two players, Chris Eversley uh, and David Nawaba, you guys did a great job on, especially I know you were guarding Nawaba for a, a significant portion. Uh, what was your focus in the second half to limit him to zero points? Block out. Um, I know he was a driver. He only took three, uh, three pointers back at his JUCO. Um, so I knew to close out a little bit short, not give him too much space to where he's comfortable, but know that he was going to be a driver. And also blocking out, he's a very athletic guard. Um, and obviously he's a little bit bigger than I am. So uh, it, it was just me wanting, the, wanting to play and having the will to guard him and not let him score. Quick turnaround now. You got two days of practice before Long Beach State. Another Big West opponent comes in here. Uh, what were some of the focus points that Coach Miller said you got to work on over the next two days? Um, just keep playing defense the way I played tonight. Um, I went through the point guard. I guarded uh, Kyle Otister. I guarded uh, Dave Nwambu. And that's, that's what it was. It's, it's me having to keep playing defense and know that that's where my time is going to come. My offense is going to be there every night, I, I feel like. So defense, as long as I can play great defense like I did tonight, I'll be uh, playing really well throughout the year. Wildcats over the Mustangs tonight. They'll take on the 49ers from Long Beach State on Monday night.